what's on my iPad? Let's go. Hi, my name is Trey and I am the channel of King Reviews and I do reviews on this channel. Today we are going to review my iPad. See what games we have on my iPad, showing them to you guys and we'll get straight into it. So let's go. So first game that I am, is my favorite is actually, what I really like the most is I really like Roblox. So if your kid's watching this, or if your parents that play Roblox, of course, um, this is my favorite game, like right on my iPad, Roblox. Hope you guys I'm showing you guys. Right there. So Roblox is, uh, it's a pretty fun game. Like if you guys don't know what it is, all of you guys should know. Um, if there's some people out there that doesn't know what it is, it's basically Roblox um, is a game in, on, there's, it's a game that has a bunch of games in it. So how do you, how you play Roblox is what there is, is I'll just jump into the app real quick and I'll wait till it loads up. So I've got these, all these games, as you can see, there's all these games right here. And if you scroll down, there's some games like right there. And those, those games are really fun. So some, all, if you don't know what Roblox is, all these people, all these games are created by people, not AI. Some might be in the future, but now not AI and it's really good. It's actually not even made by AI, made by people. Some games, you just wonder how people even made them. They are really, really cool. And I think some people, um, they like really like, like Roblox. Like what I like, I kind of like Roblox. It's a really good game, like I wouldn't play all the time. I would play other games than this. But Greenville um, on Roblox and like Southwest Florida and Missions. Uh, by the way, just Jupiter Florida game came out. I don't know if you guys can see, but Jupiter, that Mission Jupiter Florida with that white truck on that photo. It's act that, that photo came out in like it just came out this year like the start of the year that game came out it's a new game that someone created and as you can see that they've got the southwest florida uh emergency Re response liberty or emergency response liberty and you've got like toilet tower defense which is a game i play with my friends uh you've got greenville you've got drive world event drive world drifting You've got Ultimate Driving, Amanche, Hamburg, and all these other games that I do not play. I did play that one. What, did I play that? Yeah, I did play that one. Uh, that one, and most of these games are the ones that I continued. So I, I did, not really this one. Uh, so much, I mean, not this one, this one. I don't even play Ultimate Driving. Uh, I just accidentally joined it one day, and that's what I did. And there's also this uh, girl, am I showing it to the camera, guys? I'm showing Brookhaven is kind of boring for me now. It used to be fun when I first started Roblox. I just wanted to play it all the time, and now I just don't like it anymore because it really nothing to do. So it's quite boring. There's Donation Central. There's heaps of games. I could go on this for this forever, and I could never stop. Like, there's so much games. That, there's even Guess the Singer Rock. I guess it says rock because of the celebrity. Um, but yeah, there's heaps of games. I bet you guys know what Roblox is, so I'm not gonna explain too much. But what I wanted to do is that my first game, I just remembered that I'm not talking about Roblox and I'm talking about games. Uh, so let's uh, jump on to the next game. So my next favorite game is probably, I forgot what game. Okay, my favorite game is Papa's Mockeria. You might be the, think the name is a bit weird and like you're wondering what the heck is that? Well, Papa's Mockeria is a game that you make Mockeria, like the name. So if you've played these games, you do have to pay like a couple bucks just on the App Store or Android Store if you love these games, because they are good quality games. I'm not gonna play it, but maybe I'll do a video showcasing all those games because I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these games. I might even have more on the other page. Uh, actually I actually have seven. So seven games of these Papa's games. So I'm gonna tell you what they are and they're all food ones. So they're like Papa's, like 
Papa's something. They're just Papa's. All Papa's games. Because the person that was the chef hired these random people to come in there. And Papa's Mokoria is more like a coffee and the milk. And so you just serve people and do it. And I'm going to show you um, in another video if if we can if I can show you those games and how they work. Papa's Mokoria, so I'm going to go through all the food ones, which is what it is. So I'm going to go through all the games that I have of it. Papa's Mokoria, Papa's Bakery, uh, Papa's Scooperia, which is the ice cream, you scoop it. Papa's Freezeria, which is like a milkshake. And Papa's Freezeria is a old, old game. This came out about like before, when I was like literally like eight years old. This came out and now I'm 11. So that it was pretty old. The graphics are a little bit old, but you can tell that the new games like the Papa's Mockeria, the Papa's Bakeria, the Papa's. There's also a burger one called Papa's Clockeria, which is a new one. The Papa's Pancake, Papa Sushi is Papa Cupcake is really old. The ice cream one I think is old too. The all new ones that they created was the Papa's Mockeria, Papa's Bakeria, and the Papa's Clockeria. So that's all the games that this brand made. Their company is called Flipline Studios. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys have heard. They're probably like a hidden, they're kind of like a hidden company that's around. But let's move on to the next set of games that I'm going to show you guys. So the next set of games is called this bus simulator right down there. Oh, so this bus simulator right down there. So the bus simulator is a pretty good, like realistic bus simulator, of course. All these bus simulators are going to be better than actual Roblox games because Roblox games are pretty good. But I just feel like bus simulator games are good and I like driving. I think I mentioned that in one of the games on my Nintendo Switch if I mentioned that. But if I didn't, I'm mentioning it now. And I also have, if you probably guys when I showed you, you might see this garbage truck. Uh, simulator and what I did with that is I downloaded it because I, I also like garbage trucks I still kind of like but these garbage trucks simulators are really good I kind of like them this garbage truck you might have guys have it but I don't really play it anymore I actually don't play it bus simulator I do play a little bit now I don't um what other driving games do I have I think that's about oh so if you guys see, if you guys see in the background, I have that little Shell V Power Racing Team Mustang, Ford Mustang GT. And if you guys see that, that's actually, see this app, Shell Racing? That game, that app is actually not a game. It's a app, it's a Shell Racing thing. It's a Shell Racing app that can connect to that car and drive it around your phone, your iPad, whatever car you have. And it's really cool. So Shell Racing, since it's called Shell, the company, the fuel company Shell um, did these cars um, last year. And they did it for this special, uh, I think they did it for maybe achieving something, but how you get it, well now you can't get it. They might do another thing like that. I don't think so. But how would you, you would get them is you go to the, the um, fuel station, I think you can buy whatever you want. You can just buy stuff and they'll give you a random car. And the cars, I think there's seven of them to collect, which I only connected, collected one because it was enough. And I hardly don't even play with it. So if I had the more cars, I wouldn't, I probably would play with it because I had more and more and more cars. But yeah, that's that game uh, app. And so, yeah, so I also have, let's move on to game. Let's move on to the next game. So the next game is Battles 2. Battles 2, which is like the second version of the actual normal game. Battles 2 is basically like, I don't know if you guys know when I showed you the toilet tower defense on Roblox. I do play with my friends and my friend talks about it a lot. That's why we play it a lot. It's obviously from the Skibby Toilet meme everyone's talking about. But the Battles 2 app is very you know, very in that kind of area of those games. You know those games where you have like those weapons on the side of those people and there's like little animals going through the track and going to like the tunnel and you have to kill them before they get all the way. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Um, 
yeah so that's all what that battles 2 is it's pretty fun i played with my other friend so yeah let's move on to the next game next favorite game is this right here rc club so rc club basically what it does is augmented reality so you can this is pretty cool um you can download the app which i have you can show it to your to like the carpet and you can purge like you can sh put the camera on there on the carpet or whatever floor you have or even like well you don't have to put it on the floor you can just shine put it and put the camera anywhere and it'll do it augmented reality will project the car there and you have controls on your screen and you can control it around which is pretty cool it doesn't like i wish ar, AR was i can want to say ar a AR is actually I wish AR when it came out they could instead of going like like since it since it's just all into reality it goes on walls and it does that and stuff it doesn't even like bang against the wall because it's that I wish there was a feature where if it hits a wall it would actually make a sound and it, it wouldn't hit a wall you have to drive it straight and you could if it goes in the hallway you could not see it I don't know how would they do that but AI is getting crazy and I mean AI not AR so AI might invent something with AR because I keep getting mixed up with them too. But yeah, that's that game. It's called RC Club AR. So let's move into the next game. So this game is called, this game is called Brain Test. Brain Test is actually a really good game for smart people you're supposed to play. You can, you can play it if like you're, you want to test your brain, like little test your brain and figure out these little puzzles, tricks, which I've played a bunch of times, but these are really cool. So the brain test game is pretty cool. Um, Brain test, I, it's, so I don't really play it anymore. All these apps that I'm kind of showing you, the Puppers games that I just talked about before, I kind of play. Um, the Puppers Freezeria, I don't really play at all. Um, but the Puppers Scooperia is pretty cool. Um, but just this brain test game, I don't really play anymore. Lego Builder, I do kind of play. Like, I don't really play. I only play if I'm really interested in Lego. Oh, and this is a really cool app, guys. Brick It. So you see how it says Brick It down there? You've got your Brick It app, which means you can have a whole set. So if you just put out a random pieces of Lego, it doesn't even have to be a set. Put out random pieces of Lego on the floor, kind of spread them out. You can watch a YouTube video. I'll probably link it down in the description. You can watch a YouTube video on how to do it, and I've done it before. It's so fun. You can pour out your Lego. I don't know how they do this. Pour out your Lego, kind of spread it out evenly. And since I have two bags, full bags of Lego, just random Lego laying around, I just put it on the floor. And what you do is you scan your iPad and you just hold it there for a couple seconds. It'll scan and it'll identify all the pieces and it'll tell you how much pieces you have. Yeah, so it'll tell you how much pieces. It's so cool. And then it'll come up with these ideas on what you can build with those pieces. I don't know how it does that. It literally, the pieces that it scans, it scans them make sure you have them for those builds those little tiny builds some are even a toilet i built the toilet some it's like since it's a color you don't might have that color but you can still build it um if you look at the other ideas on the other page you might be able to see that there's different ideas but they might not be your lego pieces and then if you want to build more ideas you might have to get more legos and that's that's kind of like I don't like that, but I it still does like a lot of ideas. It creates a lot of ideas, especially if you have a lot of Lego. So yeah, let's move on to the next game. So this game is called Rodeo Stampede. You guys might have it, it's kind of like a classic game. But Rodeo Stampede is you have animals and there's like a little cartoon little guy that jumps on and you have you have a side like top view and you just drag and when the animal starts to get really angry and doesn't want you on you jump to the next animal that's nearby and you keep riding on that animal so it will keep going and then there's some challenges where you must not fall off you must not fall off and you can you have to get your guy to the end before like if you fall you'll die and you have to restart some maps go into different zones if you go along my friend told me this app um and yeah it's basically like i don't play it i only play with my friend if i see him 
Um, but yeah, that's the game. Let's move on to the last game that I'm probably going to show you guys. So the last game is Monopoly Go. So Monopoly Go, I do play quite often actually. Um, I play with my older sister and Monopoly Go is quite good, you know. It's got like like a lot of features and actual like real Monopoly. And I'm glad that you can actually collect rolls on the dice. And Monopoly Go is pretty fun. You can play with your friends, your siblings or any like that. So you can just connect up and you can play virtually. So even you can connect them, you don't even have to be near. So it's like, it's so technical that you can just do it on your iPad or iPhone. Um, and I also have Pokemon Go, which you guys should know what that is. So guys, that's basically the end of this video. If you guys liked it, subscribe and just subscribe for post new videos. I post new videos every day mostly, so you could just, you know, watch out. But anyway guys, that's it for today's video. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.